it's British summertime. It's snowing, I jest. It's lovely outside, sunny, friends are coming over. We've got goodies in the larder, wines in the fridge, and over to Trish, who is doing all the cooking side of it. And I'm going to make lemon Thai chicken, salad niçoise with fresh tuna, Ooh. and then followed by summer pudding. So Trish, you've been busy at work before I arrived making all sorts of goodies. I have indeed. see we've got the chicken drumsticks that have been coated in a lovely sticky honey with a soy sauce, oyster sauce if you wish, and salt and pepper and some ginger. I'm going to leave this to marinate between 30 and 40 minutes. What do you class as a good stable wine? Good stable wine is, for summer, these wines from the Loire. Summer for me is rosé, obviously, and rosé d'Anjou particularly that little sort of smack of sugar, that beautiful acidity, and muscadet, wine with beautiful acidity, with character, and a wine that everyone enjoys any time of the year, but particularly summer. Muscadet. Blossom, Fresh. yes, peaches, citrusy fruit. If you think of what you've just caught, I mean, you were talking about the flavors and how, what wines would go with which. Perfect, because it marries up with the fruit. Exactly. Salad niçoise is a lovely fresh tuna steak mm -hmm. and then it's got new potatoes, hard-boiled eggs, salad and tossed all together with a little olive oil and olives. It it's screams muscadet at me. You've got the combination of fish, obviously, yep. olives, egg, which can be very, very difficult with, with any wine, mm -hmm. but perfect with muscadet. Also, I should add, there's a process of muscadet which is called muscadet sur lit. Mm -hmm. And basically what it is, you make your wine and you let it sit on the dead yeasts that are part of the whole fermentation method and they add an extra layer of complexity, an extra aura to the wine. But Surly is another addition to the quality status of wines from Muscadet. But does the yeast, like a, a bread yeast, make? can you taste that? No, not at all. What it does do, of course, is also give you that lovely little spritz. Ah, that you've yes. got in the glass, which again lifts the yes, wine and tickles yes, yes. the palate and makes it even more perfect for summer. Lovely light summer pudding made from soft summery fruits and sugar poached gently, tipped into a pudding basin lined with bread. Look at this beautiful colour coordination, the Rosé d'Anjou with its lovely light pinks. That was Lovely. What a perfect match because mm. you've got forest fruits here, you've got strawberries, raspberries, blackcurrants, blackberries. You've got exactly the same coming out of the wine, those same flavours, those same aromas. And this freshness, this lovely freshness mm. that goes so beautifully with, with what you've put together there. What other things can we use this lovely rosé for? What type of dishes? A to Z with these wines really. First of all, perfect as aperitif wines. But with a rosé, when you think about it, certain meats like lamb have a slight sweetness. Mm -hmm. And when you get that hum of sweetness coming through and the acidity, lamb being a fatty dish, of course, mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Also very good with rabbit. Rabbit with a mustard sauce, it goes beautifully with it. Because again, you've got that sweetness. That's one thing rabbit needs, is an extra bump when does. you cook it. Come on, Trish, enough of us drinking. Crack on, guests coming. I'll help you with the food. Perfect. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! 